Hello friends, in this video we will see the isometric view of frustum of cone having base dia 80, truncated dia 40 and height 50. Now what is frustum of cone? So in previous video, video number 3, we have seen the frustum of square base pyramid. So this is now frustum of cone. So if you will remove this apex of the cone, this remaining portion will be the frustum of cone. So in frustum of cone, two diameters are there. This is the base diameter, which is 18. This is 18. And this is truncated dia. Truncated dia is 40. So now we will draw this object. So as we know, directly you cannot prepare the isometric view of circle. First you have to draw this frame and the dimension of this frame will be equal to diameter you can see if the, this diameter is 18 this die is 18 the frame size will be also of 80 mm so let's draw the frame of 80 by 80 mm first the isometric view of a square of 80 by 80 so let's take this one as a pole point let's draw the reference line here It should be a continuous thin line. You can prepare this drawing side by side. And you can note down the time that how much time you are taking to prepare this drawing for the practice. So 0, 10, 20, 30 degree this side. And 30 degree angle this side. So first we make a isometric view of a square of 80 by 80 so here we will measure 80 mm you have to be very careful here there should not any there should not be any error now 80 mm this side Now let's copy this dimension 80 mm to complete this frame of 80 by 80. So this is the isometric view of a square of 80 by 80 which is just like a rhombus here you have to also mark the midpoint total dimension is 80 the midpoint will be at 40 right join this line also join these two endpoints Now let's copy this 40 mm. Simply you have to mark the midpoint of these all the four lines. Right? So these all the dimensions are 80, 80. 80 this one is 80 this one is 80 because diameter was 80 mm so frame size will be of 80 by 80 now from the shortest diagonal always this one is longest this one is shortest diagonal from the shortest diagonal you have to draw four lines two lines upside and two lines in downward direction just for the four center method almost the procedure will be same as the isometric view of a cone 
एंड आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ अ सिलेंडर द वीडियो हैज़ बिन ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड तो नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ फोर सेंटर मेथड वी विल ड्रॉ द बेस ऑफ दिस फ्रस्टम विच विल बी आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ अ सर्कल have to be very careful here now from this point this intersection draw the third arc here you have to draw the fourth arc so in circle basically one center is there but in isometric view we have four number of centers so that's why it is called as four center method so minor error is there so you have to take care for this so this is the base of this frustum of cone base of diet is ready now now the second step is to create the height of the object so height is given as 50 so from these all the four vertices of the frame let's take the height of 50 mm this should be a continuous thin line you have to keep patience to draw this object take height of 50 mm you can basically pause this video and you can draw it side by side for the practice until or unless you will not do the practice you will not be able to draw this 50 and from this last this rear corner also will take the height of 50 so now just like a construction of a building these are the four columns of the building so this is these are the four heights so let's join this let's join the end points now you will get the same square of 80 mm square means to say isometric view of a square at the height of 50 mm which is just like a rhombus here is the next part which is very important truncated diaphragm here you have the dimension of 80 by 80 80 80, 80 and 80 but you need is 40 so it means to say we have to take the margin of 20 mm both the sides how 20 mm because you have the dimension 80 but you need 40 so 80 minus 40 is equals to 40 40 mm margin is there which will be divided on both the sides 20 this side and 20 this side 10 and 20 similarly on the other side take the same margin 20 this side 10 and 10 this side 
please mark the points on both the sides so that you can make a parallel line if you will not take the point here from only with the reference this line may be not parallel to this one so take the points on both the sides now this is 40 and 80 follow the same procedure on this side Take 20 this side and 20 margin this side. So now I am unable to draw a parallel line. So here also I will take the margin of 20 so that I can easily mark the parallel lines 10 and 10, 20. So join the endpoints. Now you can see now you have a new square of 40 by 40 just at the center with equal margins all the sides the margins are equal this square means to say isometric view of a square which is a rhombus so in this 40 by 40 mm you have to follow the same procedure for center method so let's mark the midpoint here don't get confused in the lines this is 20 here also you have to take 20 half of the 40 now similarly take the midpoint on this side i hope it is clear why we are taking the midpoint yes just to mark the four center method don't get confused in the points so you have to focus on only these points let's draw the four lines in this rhombus of 40 mm two lines upside and two lines in downward direction So we have followed the same four center method in this square of 80 by 80. Square means to say isometric view of square. So let's draw the arcs now. This will be the first arc. Now follow the same procedure from this point. Now we will follow the third arc from this point. Now this is the last arc from this point. Now this is the diameter 40. Right, uh, so this is the isometric view of a circle. Now you have to draw the tangent. This step is very important. See here, I'm not finding any midpoint, any endpoint. Simply place your scale to touch this arc. I mean to say, we have to draw the tangent. Now this is the first term of right circular cone. So we in isometric views we are not showing the hidden edges. It is not preferred to show the hidden edges in isometric view. So we can just convert this line into a thin line. We will keep these all the lines here. Don't erase any line. I'm writing here. Don't erase any line because we have to show the procedure 
तो यू कैन कीप दी थिन लाइंस हियर तो लेट्स सी दी डाइमेंशनिंग ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट तो फॉर डाइमेंशनिंग अगेन यू हैव टू यूज दी आइसोमेट्रिक लाइंस नाउ दिस लाइन इज ऑलरेडी एट थर्टी डिग्री तो अलाइन योर स्केल विद दिस एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन दिस इज एक्सटेंशन लाइन extend this line also now you can see the scale is parallel to this edge the scale is parallel to this edge so means this dimension line which i am going to draw will be parallel to object 30 degree now let's write the height of the object align your scale with this existing edge so this will be at 30 degree this is 30 degree and height will be always vertical line take the extension line from this edge extension line from this edge now the scale should be parallel to this base edge you can see the scale is parallel to this edge if you are facing any difficult to draw the parallel line then you have to use the protractor to measure the angle otherwise simply you can do the visual inspection visually you can see so this is the dia Eighty five stands for diameter. This is height. Uh, yes, it was fifty. Yes, this height is fifty. And this dia is forty. So you can use five forty. So this is the isometric view of. Prastam of cone. In case if you have any doubt or any question, please post your comment and subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you so much.